up, world? It's your boy, Mark Walter Ward, Super Fact Show, Super Fast Network. Today we got with us T. Johnson, who's Lil Xan's manager. Um, Well, I, you can't even say that Lil Xan was supposed to be on a tour because of fuckery, but uh, some people involved in, in... I can't even tell the story, but people have been talking bad, talking down on Lil Xan, totally unfairly. Uh, there's all the receipts to prove his point. And uh, Mr. Johnson, who, who usually never appears in front of the camera, was so moved by the injustice of the situation, he, he wants to let us know what's really happening as opposed to what you might be hearing from the dropout kings on social media. Or uh, I don't even know if you call that lady a janky promoter. She's just a janky person. But thank you <laughs> thank you for your time, brother. Uh, excuse along yeah. with the intro. And uh, go ahead, let, let us know what's going on, man. Yeah, man. You know, people get to talking and running their mouth, you know, don't know shit. And they just hearing stuff. And then they just they just blow off with it. But first and foremost, man, you know, you know, Diego, you know, Zan wanted to get out there for his fans, man. You know, so he was excited because, you know, the kid loves his fans, man. You know, he wanted to get out there. So we wanted to do everything we could to make this thing happen. But at the, the bottom line is. Hey, hey not to interrupt you. you um, yeah. We, we can't assume that they know know the deal. You know, the, right. there was no, a, there, to, the, to, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm about gotcha. to break it down. You know, yeah, you know, the bottom line is just, you know, business has to be handled, you know what I mean, in order to make things happen, right? So, you know, for weeks and weeks, I've been talking to this promoter, you know, and, and trying to get business handled. We're trying to get, you know, deposits in, contracts done, you know, all these things that, that have it happen. Now, one thing happened, man. We're doing the best we can. I'm on the phone with her, and then she starts dodging my calls. I can't get her on the phone. You know, then when I finally get her on the phone, she makes promises that we're going to get this we're going to get that nothing you know so you know and then she starts hitting me up saying oh well you know zan's not selling tickets i'm like what are you talking about zan's not selling tickets first of all zan's not a promoter huh? zan's supposed to come to the event and perform that's not zan's job to sell tickets zan's job is to show up and perform for whoever the promoter gets in the house what, why are you trying to make him the promoter he gets paid the same way the one person shows up or 500 people show up. That's not that's not on him. It's on him to be there on time and do what he's supposed to do, right? Well, 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 well hold, on, hold on, hold on. Just, just to give this lady her due, just so we can get both sides of the story. Um, in the mm -hmm. contract he signed, did, it, did he have like a certain amount of social media promotion he was supposed to do that he didn't live up to? Well, let's go back to this. Where's the signed contract? See, this is that what I'm part. looking for. Right. And see, this is what I've been looking for. Where's my contract? Where's my contract, Miss Promoter? You know, Miss Booking Agent. She wasn't the promoter. There was 15 different promoters, man. Different ones, right? There was not one promoter. There was different promoters almost in every city. Some of the cities had the same ones that were doing neighboring, but it was mainly different promoters, every one. So I'm supposed to be dealing with all these different people who I ain't never met. We ain't never met none of these quote unquote support groups. So for them to get on social media and get to run in their mouth talking about what Zan did to them, Zan didn't do nothing to them. I don't know what their business was with, with this booking agent and how they got it down. I, my understanding is that she was their manager, some, managing some of them, and she's their booking agent too. But bottom line is, you know, I didn't like the, the way the tour was set up from the beginning because you got to understand, I, came, I became Zan's manager just a couple of months ago. This was already in place when I became his manager. So when I came in, I'm looking for business to be done. Business ain't done. Right. So I'm trying to get the business straight so he could take off on this tour I, that I didn't like in the first place, because it made no sense for a SoundCloud rapper to be on tour with three or four rock groups completely different. That we ain't never heard of completely different genres. I don't even understand how he's headlining with rock groups underneath. And it makes no sense to me. I mean, if I'm a little man fan, I don't want to come listen to three rock groups before it gets to him. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, this doesn't make any sense. Who's, who's really getting the benefit of this? The guy with 500 on Instagram or the people with 20,000 on Instagram? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Where's the real benefit going, right? Yeah, you know, that's, that, that's and, some simple ass math right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, right. You get you get what I'm saying? And then these dudes want to get on, you know, with some old little leprechaun green hair bumping his gums talking about, oh, fuck little Zan. This is the fuck little Zan tour. Whoop, whoop, whoop. He don't even know what's going on. He's, he's getting secondhand information from somebody who's not even telling them. On top of the fact, the booking agent knew that I wasn't going to send everybody out on tour. Without, the, without some type of deposit. The hell, we look like paying for travel and everywhere else, and we haven't gotten 50 fucking cents. Uh, artists of that magnitude, I mean, that's, that's just unheard of to even, even, even ask. Um, I should have asked you this before we started. Um, you, you, you know that I know everything that the person who put us together knows, 
Correct. Is, is, is there any cut cards? Is there anything I shouldn't say? I'll, right, I'll put I'm it in. Say what you got. No. Okay, yeah, so, 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 so then, all right, so this lady, to her credit, does have good taste in publicists because she hired Quinnell Holder, Coach Q, who's one of the best publicists in rap. And so the, the blessing is that you got to meet him and he got to meet you. And, uh, right. and, and then, you know, she represented herself to him as actually being Little Zan's manager. Right, which was incorrect. And that was incorrect well, I mean, it, I mean, we, we ain't the run to the police type, but uh, and <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know them white collar laws, but I believe, isn't that illegal? Pretty much, it's very much illegal. On top of the fact, you know, she represented a whole lot of stuff to him, you know what I mean? Then she turned around and uh, wanted, he, he, he was supposed to be, his, 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 his understanding too was that he was supposed to be Zan's manager, right? I mean, uh, publisher. Right. Right. You know, so, you know, why why do you hire a publicist for Little Zam for a specific tour? That makes that makes no sense. Why are these promoters not promoting in their city or are they promoting in their city? We don't even know what's going on. I don't know if they're promoting in their city or, or, or not. You know, when, you know, when publicists you know, do you know? tours, don't they don't they they don't do like one artist. They do like the whole tour, because if you can get somebody to see Lil Xan, they might go see green hair, bum gumper, the gum bumper. Right. You know, what I mean, and they, a gum, they, gum bumper fan might see Lil Xan. So why would you just have a yeah. publicist for one artist? Because like, and that's like, like, like if you were going to make this tour make sense, you, you would have the rock band is going to the rock radio station or whatever the equivalent is in that city. Have Xan going to where. But 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 like it don't even sound like like even the. The, uh, an attempted synergy was made. Exactly. And then you got the little, like I said, you got the little leprechaun dude running around like little Lucky Charms talking about, oh, Lil Xan wasn't selling tickets so the cities were canceled. What, what, shit, what about y'all? Was y'all selling tickets? You, you know, you know word. I, mean? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, what the hell was y'all doing? You a support group or not, whatever. So that mean, that tells me that, yeah, all of you guys was looking for Lil Xan to be your meal ticket. You know, hey, you, you, know th you, I mean? you think it might even be more devious than that? Maybe they knew that they shit wouldn't be shit. They figured they'll pull some fuck shit, get some attention, and now their tour guy got, exactly, got. That's exactly what I felt from the beginning. You know what I mean? Because it made no none of this made sense to me. Nothing made sense. There was no travel money. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing set aside for anything. It's just this 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 clothing line. Uh, I forgot the born born, born dead. dead. You know what I mean? This clothing line, and then and then this clothing line gets on and puts up something on the internet talking about. Lil Xan is off their tour. Nigga, please, you got me fucked up. Lil Xan wasn't off. You didn't put Lil Xan off your tour. We decided to not go because everything wasn't in place. I challenge any of them to show me one, one contract that was signed before we were supposed to leave. I, got, I ended up getting two contracts after I pressed it, and I got them the day before we were supposed to leave. And they, and they still didn't have a deposit. It was two signed contracts, still no deposit. Did, you, you did they look like they were original or boilerplate? They were boilerplate and they had like e signatures, so it could have been some bullshit. But I didn't want to say that, you know what I mean? I ain't want to, you know what I'm saying? But you know, right. it kind of is what it is. So with no wet signatures or nothing, and I've been pressing her, pressing her, pressing her, you know. And, and they weren't even filled out right. They didn't even have my guy's name on there, man. They they had a little fan, and you know that's not how a professional will contract right. Right? his real name, PKA. Because how, how the fuck you gonna cash that check? Yeah. <laughs> right, you know what I mean? There's nothing there. And then she's like, oh well, this is done all the time. And just so you know, everybody knows too. You hold, know, on, thing, bro, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. How 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 old is this lady? I've never met I, her. Or I seen her. Can you give me like a range? Her. Like like, do you think she's over thirty? No, maybe she's right right in that area. You know what you know you know what I mean. I'm, and, I'm and, and, right in that area. And she's telling you how how tours are run. Yeah. Well, I'm get the fuck out! Of, I, I, yeah, I, I know. That's what I'm saying, like, saying, like, get the like, fuck out of like, here. This ain't, this ain't my first rodeo, man. I mean, let's not be stupid. Oh, this is a hard ticket. This is hard. I don't give a shit what it is. The bottom line: Little is, Zan is a hard ticket in 2022. Then you don't need to be fucking promoting. Exactly. Or she, you know, oh, we're trying to get him back, and you know, we're trying to get him back out there to show he can do this. You know, first of all, he has, you know, like I said, this this whole thing wasn't even promoted, right, man? It was just, it was way left field. You know, like I said, Zan was doing the best he could to try to get out there for his fans because he's he gets excited. You know what I mean to, to get out there for his fans. You know, and and he's an artist. I'm the manager. I take care of the business. He goes and performs. So as an artist, he wanted to get out there. So he was trying to you know get out there. You know, but at the same time, we can't put ourselves in a backwards motion by by shelling out you know tens of thousands of dollars to go on tour and we don't have anything and no guarantees of getting it. 
Shit, you, I mean, you, talking you, about Lil Xan, bro, you could, you could, you could have a fucking flash mob, ten thousand person concert, just announcing that shit four hours before it happens. And like, remember when Dave Chappelle quit his show and he just showed up at parks and start, <laughs> like, like Lil Zan could get it like that if he wants to perform. Yeah. Y'all don't need to be paying no janky promoters to travel and shit. Nah, but man, um, you know, you know, like, like I said, I challenged them. You, you know, you, you know, like I said, with the little leprechaun dude, you know, he's talking about fuck with his hand, he'll beat him up and all this stuff. Look here, homie. You know, you got an open ticket to run your mouth, but, you know, we ain't no keyboard gangsters around here, man. You know, I'll pay your way anywhere you want to come, and I'll, or we'll pay our way to come and see you anywhere you want to be. I don't like all that keyboard gang bang and all that talking across the camera and all that type shit. We don't do that fuck shit around here. So if you really feel that way, you feel a certain kind of way, you know, let's get together and let's talk about it for real. You know what I mean? You can kill all that over the internet, you know, what you're going to do and fuck with those hands who are, you know, all you little rock boys. I mean, we, we can get it. So, you know, however y'all want to talk about it, we can talk about it anytime, anywhere, any place. I'll make it happen. I'll promote that. How about that? Hey, I, I, I feel you. Man. If, if, if someone don't understand, you know, like, like, like when certain things get out of pocket, they, they, they have to be addressed because if, if yeah, they're not yeah. addressed the and, dude, it, and then the, the address might be, might be, might be leprechaun homie backing the fuck down. Yeah, like, like, like you ain't saying you you ain't saying all you're saying is is that you need to have a a serious man to man conversation. Yeah, let's be real about it because you attacking us, you don't even know us. You feel me? You attacking this whole thing and you attacking us going on the attack. You don't even know us and know the real situation. Are it's they aware because, of what he's going you know through? What yeah, well, you know, he talked about that and he said that you know, you know. Are, are they know, violating in that way? Are they talking shit about that? Nah, they just you know they, they really feel like that we pulled out because cities were canceling. We could really care, you know, we just showed up, but guess what? We didn't have no paperwork. We didn't have no deposits. We didn't have nothing. Why are we gonna show up? And this, and this chick knew that. And she knew a week ahead of time. Now, whether she told them the day of, the day before, that's on them. And like I said, she dipped and dodged my calls for three days and four days, you know? And, you, you know, she wasn't returning my text messages. She wasn't returning my calls, nothing. I don't have no contact with none of these groups. We was we never talked to these people. So how all of a sudden I'm supposed to tell these groups that we ain't coming or we ain't doing this or anything? I, 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 I'll, I'll wrestle that. Man, you know, man, you know, people, people that run to tours are, are are over communicative. Like like it's unfathomable not to be able to get in touch with mm-hmm. somebody running a tour. Yeah. I, I, yeah, she's supposed to be she's supposed to be putting this thing together. She's supposed to be the booking agent. I'm your ma- I'm your headliner's manager. I can't get a return call for twenty four and forty eight hours and seventy two hours. I mean, and that was, and, and then they go talk about man. y'all on the internet being unprofessional. Ain't that about a bitch? I mean, come on, man. You know, like I did everything I could. I let her know every which way from Sunday that if, if these things didn't happen, it wasn't gonna happen. You know, you know what I mean. And you know, I mean, just from a logistics standpoint, you haven't sent us. We haven't gotten anything in a timely manner. But I'm supposed to be booking flights, booking buses, booking hotels. I'm supposed to be doing all this stuff. But at the very last minute, the day before, when you, 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 you I mean, what am I, I mean, come on, man, that's not the way things have done professionally. Uh, I, we were trying to book things weeks in advance, you know, for everything to make sense. You know what I mean? We're responsible for getting everything on our, you know, getting everywhere on our own, which means that, you know, we need to line these things up. And how am I supposed to do that when the business ain't being taken care of from their side? Damn, man, Zan, Zan, Zan is lucky, bro. Like, like yo, you, I, I can tell you're really aggrieved at this. Like, like you really care. Yeah, because that, I, I that, 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 that ain't regular. His, his whole career, he'd been taking, he'd been taking advantage of man. His whole career, he'd been taking advantage of. You know what I mean? That's not going down anymore. It's a wrap. That's just not going down now. These other little guys, these other guys, if they want to, you know, jump out there and their management wants them to go on tour and they want to roll the dice, hope they're going to get paid, hope things happen. That's on them, man. They ain't going to do it. But we ain't doing that shit. <laughs> you know, you know that, that's not happening. That. That, you, know, that, you, know, you know what I mean? So that, that, that's what's up, man. I don't know how much you've seen the show, but I always say them them janky people, right? Man, matter of fact, the episode ain't aired. Uh, I, I said this shit. Think of any of the little scams. There's been a thousand scams in rap, you know, to get on. Remember, they get on MTV.com when you could just upload it for free yourself and motherfuckers yeah. will charge. Like, so, like, imagine if it was Kendrick Lamar in fucking 2003 or some shit, and he was down to his last stack. And he wasted that shit on some janky shit. And he said, man, fuck this rap bullshit. So, 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 like, I feel like getting rid of these motherfuckers is a public service. Man, real talk, you know. And, and like I said, man, I, I, I don't, you know, 
I don't like people talking out of pocket, man. And, and for them to just jump out there like that and start trying to down the kid who's already going through, you know, you know, mental health issues, you know, he, he's, he's doing the best he can to, to, to stay sober, which he's been sober all this time and all these things. Good. This is the type of shit that will send people backwards. And it's people like that yes, that, you that know what I'm saying, aren't, aren't, aren't helpful. If he was a weaker kid and had a weak, if he was a weaker kid, which he's not a weak-minded kid, it, it, or it, you know, or 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 had a weaker uh, a group around him, this could have ended up bad for him for something that he didn't even do nothing wrong. You know, you, you know, That's blame us for point. shit that we do wrong. Blame us for shit that we do wrong, but don't blame us for protecting ourselves and wanting business to be taken care of. And if that's what you're going to blame me for, then blame me for that shit every time. Word. Hey, you, you know who Bitcoin Rodney is? Yeah. Man, let, let, let's let's hit up Bitcoin Rodney. I don't know how much of a celebrity I am, but if Lil Xan uh, get behind me, man, I, 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 I'll see homeboy from the Dropout Kings. No problem. No hey. problem. Hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm, 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 I mean, I'm I just, I just saw my, man, I just, I just went and saw my man head crack at that jump. I, 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 I don't know shit about dude, but shit, I, I, don't, I I've been in that ring before, and, and my, my heart don't pump no Kool Aid. Well, let me tell you, man. I'm, you, you know, not to toot my own horn. I'm a seven three black belt martial arts hall of fame. I am a fight promoter here in California. I put them on. I got a ring. The whole nine. You know what I mean? I got a whole squad. Like I said, anybody want to run their mouth, we can, we, we can we can get with the real business. Nobody has to do it. Yeah, because I ain't a front, bro. I, I, I would love to come yeah. up off knocking out a motherfucker who's talking down on somebody I'm, who's hey, going through Xanax withdrawal. Hey, I'll you know put what it man? together. I, we can come right on here to Cali. I'll bring everybody here. We can put it together and get with it. Because like I said, all dudes going in front of his mouth, which is really a nerve-wracking thing. You know, like, I'm sitting here looking at him. He's jumping around and doing all of this and all of this. Like, he's hard. And it's like, Come on, man. If you, well, I mean, you well, I mean if, he's hard, he'll, if he's hard, he'll, he'll accept my challenge. I'm, I'm 44. I'm 5'10. I'm 175 pounds. That's it. That's yeah, it. My, 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 my wind is up. You know, that's all I got. I hit the bag five make... times a week. I spar. Shit, well, let's go. All we got to do to make it even is to give you a different hair color because you know he got that green. <laughs> man, bro, bro I, I, I got that old man. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah. <laughs> man, I ain't mad at you. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. But you know, like I said, I just needed to clear the air on this thing, man, because you know, like but, I but, said, but I don't want to end it at that, man. Yeah. Like, 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 like we 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 done kill the negativity. Fuck them. Let, let's get to some positivity. How's Zan doing? He's good, man. He's good. You know, he's in the studio every day. You good. know, he's he's making things happen. You know, we have a uh, you know, uh, well, I'm a I'm a slip and let it out there, but we're working on putting together you know, a nice, you know, TV show thing for everybody is coming together really nice. And, you know, we have a, we have a lot of things, a lot of things, you know, cooking, you know, for him right now, you know, and, and you know, he's staying positive and, and he's moving forward. And, you know, we're not going to let nothing like this hold us back. You know what I mean? Like I said, I just need to clear the air on it, but, you know, he's about to give his fans, you know, something, something new, you know what I mean? And, and another side of him and, you know, and, and is there doubters? Is, is there is there people that think he can't make good music sober? Has anybody expressed that? I think I think uh, we yeah we get we get that every day. You know what I mean? There's just doubters in general that that, that don't believe that he's gonna make it. You know, in general, every motherfucker you know, who ever got sober made better music afterwards. Yeah, that that is such know, a funny, myth. Yeah, and, and and the funny thing about Diego, man, is you know at, at 25 years old, man, like this kid knows more about music, and I'm talking about all genres of music, man, like ridiculous his little knowledge of music man like it's i mean we were talking about the you know like music. willie hutch and shit yeah man he's talking about rick rubin i'm like well you're 25 years old hell you know about rick rubin <laughs> you know what I, mean? like, I mean he's really going into some you know what i mean i'm like what i feel mean, like he really he gets it man and he and he really he really has an appreciation for his for music and his fans and everything and, and people people sleep on that and they really don't know how hard you know, he's working to, 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 to really stay on that right side and on that right line. And how that in and of itself is a completely different fight and how hard that is. You know what I mean? Just to do that. You know what I mean? You know, people should well, I mean, be it's, it's becoming a little more quit. public. You, you know, they, they used to say uh, uh, nicotine was harder to quit than opium, which I, I, I never understood that shit. Cause I, I, I seen yeah. Chucky stop smoking cigarettes before they stopped shooting heroin. But, but they say yeah, the Xanax is worse. 
And, you know, there's only two things they know of that the withdrawal can kill you, and that's Xanax and, well, well benzos, which Xanax is part of the family, and alcohol. Right. Those are the exactly. only two things that withdrawal can kill you. And both, and both, both illegal. <laughs> right. <laughs> to a point. You know, that's crazy. Shit, during the fucking pandemic, what weren't li weren't liquor stores uh, necessary businesses and shit? Yeah, and you exactly. got to stay open. Yeah, nuts. You I mean, we we, we don't need we don't need to get in all that, brother. We 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 already know who society care about, who society don't, what the goals are. You know. Yeah, man. We we can yeah. have a, a conversation yeah. like that some other time. But you know, I don't, since you don't like being in the camera and everything, this might be my only chance. Um, can you tell me a little bit about about your career, like your history in the music business? You know, I, I own the record label. I've, I've been in and out of the music business since, man, since I was actually going back to when I was 16 when, you know, everybody, you know, back in the 80s, man, you know, everybody thought they was a rapper anyway, you know what I mean? So, you know, I started off doing that and, and you know, thinking I was a rapper and all that, quickly realized that wasn't going to be my thing, you know, and my brother was a singer. My, my god brother was a singer and he was actually on the verge of getting signed over there at, at, at Ruthless. Uh, back in the day, and he got he got killed. You know, he got killed on the east side, south central. Yeah, so you know, kind of took a hiatus. Then I, you know, I started my own label in uh, in '99 and was pressing through with that. I had a little group called EWF. They were some rappers. I was, was pushing through there, and then uh, I had a, I had a kid named Teray Jones who I who I was you know and and uh, he was he was a singer. And we pushed through with that and. You know, I did some stuff with some, you know, with some with some well-known people who are in the business. I don't like name dropping, but you know, I've done a lot of stuff with people, you know, who are you know extremely well known in the in the business. And I kept I was in and out and I was in and out. And then my daughter decided she was gonna jump in, which pulled me back in. And then uh some friends, you know, some mutual friends brought me Zan because he had been, you know, getting the short end of the stick. And I pushed back in from there and kept it and kept it moving, you know. Is your daughter still making music? Yeah, yeah, she goes by Karma, and uh, you know we're putting together a little EP on her right now. She's doing her thing. Karma, like with a K. Yeah, that's, that's actually her middle name. So, so it's not something made up. It's my. It was actually she's named after my sister. Karma was my, my you know my sister was actually murdered as well. But but like I said, you know we grew up in South Central, so you know it is what it is. But, you know my sister's first name was Karma, which is my daughter's uh, middle name. So that's and that she likes that as her rap name. So that's what she does. That's how she goes by. Her part, not rapper, my bad. She's an artist, so that she likes that as her artist name. <laughs> hey, so yeah, cool. so good. Hey, yeah. no, no need to limit yourself if you don't got to. Yeah, I, I just, I just, I just asking that so you know everybody, everybody listening can know that there's bona fides. You know what you're talking about dealing with tours and everything. Oh yeah, I mean, I got, I got, I got. I mean, like I said, I'm just not a name dropper. You know what I mean? But you know, my affiliations run run real deep in this business. You know what I mean? Like, you know. You can ask around and people know exactly who they tell you you talk about. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's what it is. So, you know, I I, I like being a I like being an unknown, well known type of a person. You know what I mean? I, I being for, overt, for those you know? watching the video, <laughs> I, I I I I I didn't know who he was when we first started interacting. And uh, your grammar's so good on text and all that. I thought I was talking to like a frat boy or something. And <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I called that wronger than a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is, what it is. So. Hey, hey, the uh, last, last thing though, just out of curiosity, do you watch? Do you watch Snowfall? Oh yeah. Hey, yeah. How, 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 I mean, honestly, some of that shit's TV shit, but how authentic is that to tour? And I know you don't know about like fucking CIA agents and shit, but just like, like, how much does it look like South Central back then and all that? It's, it's on. It's turned on. It's it, it's correct. You know so they got the, they got the, they got the, they got the cars and the clothes and everything good. Yeah, everything is pretty. Everything is pretty. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty legit. But you know, John, man, you know, John Singleton, he's from South Central. You know what I mean? It's, you know, you know, he's the creator of the show and everything. So you know, he, you know, you know, even though he's gone now, that you know, he he was there in the beginning, so he caught it right. Everything was, you know, is on there. But yeah, no, it's it's. Yeah, I like that show, man. It's 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 pretty on, you know what I mean? With, with how oh, I, 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 I love that show, that. man. I hope they have spinoffs. Yeah, I mean, I can see it, man. I can see it, like, you know, I I can see it happening because I mean, the funny thing is, you know, I'll be forty nine this year, so I fall right. That's like, you know, right in my in my time zone. <laughs> you know, what right. I mean? I was, you know what I mean? I was on Chris all Sunday night. You know, that was, you know, I was out there. You know, that was big. So, yeah, you know, that was the. 
you, 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 know, you know shorty that Franklin messing with that work at the bank or work at his bank or whatever? Who who now? The, the the girl that Franklin messing with the whole last season, the the, the be oh, running the yeah, money, yeah. And, and you know, yeah, like yeah. It said, her and her mom were scam artists. I, right. I, I I was telling my wife, I would love if there was a show where they cast a, a younger actress to play her, just to show like her like being twelve or thirteen doing that scam artist shit with her mother. Man, like that that shit that should be ill as fuck. And you know, it's funny because you know those were the hustles back then, man. Like you know what I mean, people were. You know, food stamp hustles and all that. It was, you know, cause, you oh, know, I remember. Coming, yeah, it's coming in little books and shit like money. Yeah, yeah. yeah before cars. Oh, bro, yeah. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah. You know bro, our, our, our mayor was smoking crack. I, <laughs> I, 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 square business. I had a, I had a bus driver, a school bus driver, stop the bus, get off and cop. As I say, yiggities, That's what we used to call crack. Cop, cop some crack. Get back on the bus. And you yeah. know the fucked up part? Not one person. I don't know if they told their parent. But not one parent complained. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, 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 that's DC and PG County. Say it again, man. They need, they need them kids to get that ride. <laughs> yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, no bullshit. It might, might not have been no bus. <laughs> I ain't even think of it like that. Yeah, that, 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 that crack shit was a, mother, a motherfucker. But since we're on the social uh, political shit real quick, you know, uh, I'm in Tampa now but uh, because my in-laws here, but I was, I was in Houston before for, for a minute. And, uh, it, 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 it was wild as fuck to me that crystal meth was starting to come into the black community. And, and, and they, they was telling me that uh, it was like that out in Cali, too. It, to your knowledge, it, that's just going on? Yeah, man, it's creeping in there. You know, the funny thing is that I own the bail bond agency, right? It's one of my businesses. And you'd be surprised, man, at how many people, you know, black folks that I'm, that I'm, that, that I'm seeing that's getting these, you know, drug charges, but it's not you know, the kind of drug, drugs you would think, man. It's like, they really, you know, like, it's like cocaine, man. Like, you know, that wasn't a black drug originally, man. You, I mean, not, not the powder, you know what I mean? You know, the crack, yeah, but it's like, you know, that powder and, and you know, you know, black folks is doing like heroin and, 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 coke, and crack, you know what I mean? It's smoking weed. Now it's like, yeah, they really spinning off that mess now, man. You know what I mean? And you know what's, you know what's crazy too, though? They popping them pills too, man. They popping them pills now. You know what I mean? They doing all kinds of stuff they didn't used to. You know, it's, you know, it's. I guess it's a crossover. You know, it just is what it is. It's like, it's like, wow. You know, they went from, you know, putting it out there to, to breaking the rule, man. Getting high off their own supply. You know, <laughs> you know, it's just what it is. You know, and that's that's really what it boiled down to. You know, and I'm just like, I'm like, wow. Like it, it is going down like that though. Damn. Well, uh, being a bail bondsman, is there anything that you've seen get better? Yeah, I ain't nothing get better. I mean, like, you know, I mean, uh, you know, it's it's it's, it's the same, and in, in, in some instances, it's, it's it's worse, man. You know, you know what I mean. You know, with you know, they trying to do all this bail reform and all this stuff, and this is, you know, it, it's buck wild. You know, it's the stuff you see, like we try to help people out, they taking that from us now too. You know, like, man, that bail reform. I'm suspicious that they're trying to get rid of people like you to put companies in, just like you know that legalizing marijuana. Like, like it ain't legalizing marijuana. Like I can go open a marijuana business. You know what I'm saying? Like right. any other motherfucking plant. It's it's a big ass corporation. Uh, yeah, that's what they do, man. You know what they what they really trying to do, man. They, they they backdoor what they're trying to do is backdoor take bail away. What people don't realize, like out here in California, man, the way they was trying to do it is they were they're trying to talk about oh we're making it even for everybody. It's, man, first of all, make the bail schedule easy. That's the first thing you got to do. You know you know what I mean? We don't make the bail schedule. They tell us what the bail amount is, and then we go post that amount of bail. We don't as a bail you know bond you know we don't decide what your bail is. You know, the jail and the courts decide that. Man, we can only post what they tell us it is. And on top of that, we don't even decide what we charge you, man. They, they tell us we have to charge you X percentage. That's right. the, you know, and then we can go backwards from there, but we can't go up from there. And the state says that shit. And, and California happens to be 10%. So the state says that, and we have to charge that 10%. Now, we can find ways to give you discounts, but that's, that's what it is. We don't, we don't set these numbers, man. Every, we're so regulated. You know, the government's so far up our ass, man. We sneeze, they, they, they're looking at us crazy. So we don't make those decisions. And they're trying to blame us like we're the ones being, you know, you know, sharks after these people and we're making it hard. But we don't set, 
we don't set any of this, man. You know what I mean? All that stuff is set by the courts and the government and, and all of that. We don't set anything, you know? And now they make it to where, like, they'll take your bail away. You know, you, you know, if you go in trying to get a bail reduction, you know, and, and the way they were setting it up was... What? Uh, really? Damn. Yeah, yeah. And the, the way they were setting it up, they were making it to where a judge, you know, I, I, you know, made the ultimate decision, which they still do, but if you had a traffic ticket and didn't show up to court, which shit, I'm guilty of that. You feel me? You feel me? Right. They could use that as a failure to appear in a, in a harder criminal case as a reason to not give you bail. But people didn't even know that there was that little fine print in, you know, in these laws. And they're like, yeah, no bail, no bail. Ooh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's what you, that's what you think. <laughs> you know yeah, what when it, when it sounds too good to be true, that, that's too yeah. good to be true. Hey, yeah. hey, speaking of, speaking of too good to be true, Dog the Bounty, I mean, I, I I, I was about to say Dog the Bounty Hunter is a bitch. I shouldn't say that. Dog, I, I, I feel like Dog the Bounty Hunter would not have caught me. Man, you know, look, TV is TV, man. You, and those you, are some you know junky that. looking people. Man, I, I, I've known bail bondsmen because I've been out on bail. And and yeah. those did not strike me as, as, as the type of bail bondsman that I'd be intimidated by. I mean, I ain't never had yeah. no rabbit in my blood anyway. I always went to court. I, I figured, yeah, yeah. I figured, but... Uh, they would not scare me at all. I, I would have more because yeah, they, 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 they try to look tough. I, man, tough people don't look tough unless they're professional fighters, or at least they don't yeah, try to, uh, or at least they don't try to look tough. They might naturally look tough, but they don't be tying like totally like, like Ultimate Warrior armbands around their arm and shit. <laughs> but you know, you know, like I said, they from we from. You know what I mean? But I mean, you know. They do they, you know, they do what they do. They do their job. It, you know, you know, like I said, when you're dealing with TV stuff, the TV stuff, you know, I got. And hey, they blew hundreds. up off of it, so yeah. God bless them. Yeah, yeah, I got real hunters that work for me. I started off in this business as a bounty hunter. You know what I mean? That's how I even started off, and that was in nine. I was nineteen. That was in like ninety three. You know what I mean? And and that's how I started off in Bill as a bounty hunter all the way up. You know, and, and you was a was, bounty hunter. In yeah. South Central at 19, so like that's like late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, well, uh, early or mid 80s, 90s, South Central. early 90s. Yeah. No, early early 90s. You know what I'm saying? 93. You know, uh, and I was I was it wasn't no internet, homie. I was in the streets finding people. 90. You know what I mean? South Central, Wascop. I was in the project. You know, it just is what it is. That's how that's how I started off. You know? Yeah, he's I mean? like Liam Neeson and Taken or something like that. Yeah, there ain't yeah. none of that shit. You, you know what nah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. what, what, what them people used to be called back in the day? Uh, skip traces? Yeah, yeah. Skip traces, yeah, yeah. You had, a, yeah, mm -hmm. like, you, you had an internet, you had, like, skip traces, and yeah, I know nah, about it, bro. We was out there. Yeah, we was out there, you know, you know, sitting on houses all night in our cars and shit, trying to catch niggas, <laughs> you know. But the thing is, man, it was you know, really and truly, man, it wasn't, it wasn't really that hard, because I knew everybody, so, you know, and I didn't have to really do nothing crazy, man. I rolled up on the homies and be like, look, man, you want me to do it or you want the police to do it? Was, you know what I mean? You know, what I mean? You know, like, you know, it ain't like I'm out there trying, you know, in this business as a bounty hunter, like, you know, it ain't like we out there trying to, like, you know, crack a nigga, you know, for, you know, hustling or whatever. You ain't out there doing Yeah, you'd rather, them go to, you'd rather them go to court. Yeah. You're just trying, you're just trying <laughs> yeah, to, make, you're just trying to make yeah. the, the, the paper stack. That's it. That's it. You know, you don't already got practice your thing, whatever it is, whatever you got going on. The only reason we come after you is when you don't miss court. You know, when you miss Yeah, court. because that you mean, need your you money. Like, yeah, like, and there ain't, ain't no difference. Yeah. That, you know, you fuck my money up. I got mine, need my money. Well, 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 the thing is, is if they don't show up to court, I got to pay that ticket. Yeah. So if they out on 50, if they out on 50,000, and you know, they give you five, I, you I, gotta I, pay 45. Yeah. I know, I know all yeah, about no, it, bro. I put, no, 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 I pay the whole 50 still. That five is you know my fee, but I put up the whole 50 still, right? So the thing is, is that whole 50 is sitting there, and it's like, okay, homie, I, I put up that 50 for you. All you gotta do is make your court date, right? Right. So when you miss court, I gotta pay this 50 to the court. Hell, no, I ain't paying that 50 to the court, man. We come, we come, you know what I mean? For what? You know what I mean? Come on, man, because you scared to, because you scared to. No, it, it ain't like you, you Fred Hampton or UEP Newton, like, like we need to get you out of, there, out of here to advance the cause or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, mean, I, 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 was, I was, yeah, and, mo and, and a lot of people who I bail out just, you know, you know, on GP are, are, are people who other bail by agencies won't bail out. You know, you know what I mean? So I try to help, you know, motherfuckers out. You know what I mean? So I, I do like a lot of high risk shit because I ain't trying to see people in jail. You feel me? So it's like, okay, I'll go ahead and pull them out. And, oh, they got, you know, they got your number scratched and mad motherfuckers uh, holding themselves in. 
you, you, and you know what? What you just said is the realest of the real, homie. I don't even, you know, they have those bail boards where you go in there and all those bail by agencies is up. I ain't even on okay. there. I'm literally scratched in the damn wall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's right there, like that. I even put my company on those boards, man. They just, I'm literally scratching the walls and talked about inside because I try to help people out. You feel me? Right. You know, but you know, it is what it is. You know, I said, you know, but I right, so you know so. That, though. All right, so let, 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 let's finish with this. Um, real quick to summarize, Lil Xan did not do anything wrong. Lil Xan's business was not handled correctly. So Lil Xan did not participate in a tour that never sent him a contract, that he never signed a contract for, that lied to a, a very well-regarded publicist about who his manager was and has proceeded to disparage him on social media. Right, and never received a dime to take off on tour the proper way. You know that you know that you know that you know what I mean. He, the, 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 you know they they didn't even. I mean it just made no sense. It made no sense. You know I'm gonna take it a little bit a step further. Uh, it was two supposed deposits supposedly sent in, and uh, and it was the day before we were supposed to leave, and they weren't even the right amount. They were less than what they were supposed to be, and it wasn't even it wasn't even uh, it wasn't even ten percent of what was supposed to actually come in and I didn't accept it. I told her don't, 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 if it was even there, because I don't even know if it was there. This was someone sent to me on a spreadsheet. You know, you know what I said? I was like, no, nah, I don't even wire that over. You know what I mean? I mean, it's the day before. I already told you we're not taking off. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't call me the day before now, you know, acting, you know, you know what all this. You can miss me with all that. And 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 two and two contracts that were signed the same day, the same day, right? Which is the day before for cities, not not even for the beginning cities. You know what I mean? It wasn't even for the first half of the tour. The two contracts that I got were for the middle of the tour. <laughs> yeah, that's just weird all the way around. Yeah, because like I said, it was fifteen different promoters. So you're supposed to tell me that I'm supposed to take off on tour and trust that fifteen different people are going to pay us when we get there. Right. That's not even the shit you should have to be thinking about. That's not your job. Nah, man. Come on, man. This doesn't make no sense. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. When we were, when we were promised, just so you know what we were promised, we're, and, and every contract, not just what we promised, and all the contracts, every contract called for 50% up front. Everyone. Not less than 10. <laughs> right. Word. So... There's a couple of them that were 10 percent. A couple of them were 10, but the majority of them was 50 percent, right? Not, we never even got. We never even got 10. Mm. We never got any. You know what I mean? And, and, and never. Even. Well, well, again, the silver cloud, though. You got you got to meet Q. I'm sure that's gonna be a fruitful uh, relationship. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, absolutely. And, and then the motherfucking frustrations and must feel, man. The the next tour is gonna be off the motherfucking charts. But but well, he's bringing. He's gonna bring something that that that. that we got good stuff there. It's coming. Uh, oh, I got nothing but faith in that. So, so let, 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 let's leave on a on on, on a thought provoking question between fight promoting, bail bondsmen, and working in the music industry. What, what's the hardest? You know, I, I, I'm gonna go working in the music industry, man. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go work in the music industry, and it's because of fuckery like this. You know, this whole social media thing, you know, has changed things. You know, there's a there's a rapper out now named named Simba. And I am I'm, I'm a fan. He's a he's 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 I've never met him, but he's 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 fly. And, and you know, one of his lyrics says something like, you know, if you if you say it it becomes true. Like like if they if they post it on the internet it becomes fact. Right? And that's that's kinda like where we are in this world. It's it's nutty, man. You know what I mean? It, it makes it makes no sense. It's like you can just post anything and it just becomes facts. And people can get on YouTube and say what they want and it becomes facts. And it just you know you can tear people down like that, man. And, you know my generation, I, I didn't come from that. You know, it wasn't even no internet when I was growing up. You know, you know we was cracking open books and encyclopedias and you know yeah. and, and dictionaries and shit. You know what I mean? Microfish machines <laughs> at the library and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. These kids nowadays don't even know how to address a fucking envelope. You know what I mean? Bro, I, I, I don't know if they know how to put their fucking hands up. Do, 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 do kids <laughs> even fight anymore? <laughs> yeah, like, like, like I see, I see they jump people, but do they ever fight? Yeah, yeah. And like, and is, that, is that like ever the end of it? Like, like 
bro, like, at what age did you learn how to take an ass whooping? Like, like by, by the time I was 12, I could take an ass whooping without having to kill a motherfucker. You know, it's like, it's good as nutty, man. But, uh, you know, but if, if it is what it is, then, man, we got to adapt and, and, and learn to live in it, you know? But, I mean, but, but it's good mm-hmm. shit too, though, man. I love Spotify. How the fact I could just like, like right now, if I if I thought of Bernard Wright, I could go, I could go listen to Nard, you know, uh, talk about Willie Hutch, or I could go listen to Lil Xan. Like, like there is, there, there, there's some benefits. Yeah, it is. It is. There's a lot of benefits to it. And, know, and it's, but, it's really what it's really what you do with it, like like anything else in life. But it, it, yeah. it seems it seems like the people that fuck up with it, it bleeds over into our lives more so than a lot of shit. But yeah, man. It can tear people down or it can build them up. You know what I mean? The hard part is, is most people choose to tear down instead of build people up. You know, hopefully that changes, you know what I mean, in the future. But, you know, you got to lead by example. You know what I mean? Yeah, we well, don't wish no really on anybody, you know. But at the same time, you know, we ain't going to accept no bullshit either, you know. Exactly. I mean, bro, keep spreading positivity in your circle. I'll keep doing that mine. If everybody takes that advice, we'll make a world a better place in five minutes flat. That's it. Hey, well, I, 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 I super appreciate your time. I know how busy you are, and uh, thank you for, for clearing this up. Uh, like I said, I'll get this out there tomorrow, and uh, I'm, I'm going to turn this into a written interview, too. So, Well, we'll I appreciate we'll, you, man. I appreciate you more than you know. You know what I mean? It's highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, oh, anytime. If you need anything, let me know, and, 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 and let's stay locked in, brother. I, 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 I enjoyed this greatly. Thank you. Absolutely, man. Appreciate it. All right, brother. Yes, sir. You have a All good right. day. That's it.